Well done. Welcome. Can we have some water to drink? Okay, sir. Is there some water to drink? Please, how many do you want? Just one. If you get the one. Why is she hiding? Do you mind if she go home with me? How? Oh, we're out here for a walk and she needs not to go with you to anywhere. Killed by Tosh. What? Killed? Yes. Igwe, I heard a rumor that people of Umbeze have bribed the governor to take over that land. Igwe Mekoku was seen exchanging presentries last week with governor the government house. No. Not rumors. It is true. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? You actually know that Jai has invested in so much in the campaign. What are we waiting for? Igwe! What is it, young man? Why are you breathing so heavily as if the lion is chasing you? Igwe, may our God bless you. Speak on, speak out! Igwe. Our people have been killed by talks from Umeze Town. What? You mean they were killed by those slums from Umeze? Yes, Chief. Impossible! Igwe! No! Where and how did this happen? Igwe, I'm, I'm just coming from that boundary lad near the Umeze stream. Where we're there weeding on the farmland barely 30 minutes ago where some strange looking men appeared and demanded for water which I did give them, Igwe. I gave them. What I heard, what I heard was gunshots shooting our people. Igwe, I managed to escape. I escaped, Igwe. But I believe that our people are dead. No! To Fiakwa! Young man, you may go. Igwe! Igwe has eaten thorns on her head. Igwe! 
I suggest we shall strike back. No going back. Your Highness, the people of Umeze have taken more than they can chew. This is the third time they have put their hands into our eyes. My fellow chiefs, I think war is the final solution. Yes! yes. Ah. The only answer to it. We are here. Elders of our land. We have come to protest the killing of our people by those comes of Umuese. This is not the first time or the second time we are receiving such insults from them. Or is it now a crime for us to fan on our own land? No! Then we must not fold our arms and what this is sun killing. Umejim must retaliate. Yes, we must. We are here to ask you for permission to strike back. Umejim, Kwenu. Yeah. Kwenu. Yeah. Where's Yeah. Um, you have spoken well, and I am happy that you conducted yourself peacefully. However, before you came. We have heard about the killing and we are deliberating on it. What I will assure Umwejim is that justice must be done. Yes! Within a short time, you will hear from us through the town crier of our decision. We must show the Umwejim that we are equal to the task. Yes, we are! We shall speak with the Igwe. And whatever his decision is, we shall let you know. Excuse me, my children. I think we would like to speak to you. Mm. You don't repeat, I come to check for me. No, I'm not seeing you. Maybe you're seeing you. She'll be coming. Okay. <clears throat> mm. 
Who is that? Obi, I go and check who's at your door. Yes, sir. Woman, can I have a test of your food? That must be lucky to have as a wife. That's great. I suppose this is going to be your last meal. But, but, uh, excuse me. I love you. Get on your knees, I have your last prayer! Oh, my Do it! Destroy the people of Umezi. Let go! No man, let my dog grow. Nice people.
good day, sir. Is this the right way to the market square? Exactly. That's the way. You mean this way? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes. That's right. Hey. But, sir. Shh. A word from you. Your story. Get them! Please, sir. Please, no. please, sir. No. Please. No. please. I said, get this girl into the bar. Please. Go into the bar. Jerry. Shut the trap. Tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning, you will leave for Omoeji. Tell the king that we are a peace-loving people and that we do not want war. We are also convinced that we can find a peaceful solution to the current problem that we have. Yes, Your Highness. Uh, but, Your Highness, but at the risk of uh, sounding pessimistic, mm -hmm. suppose all our entreaties for truce and for peace mm -hmm. fail. What next? There is no other alternative than war. Because we must show the government that we are peace loving people. Well, if all our overtures for peace are rebuffed, then the government will not blame us for whatever action we take to preserve our integrity. Now, having said that, um, tomorrow as you go, take some guards along with you. Even though they know that you're coming and they have assured us of your security, all the same, we should not take chances. Hmm? Yes, Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Royal Highness. Igwe Nana. I salute you. Chiefs and members of the cabinet. I salute you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. My brothers of Umwejin, I am here on behalf of my Igwe, Igwe Umekokulu, and the entire people of Umweze. We extend our brotherly hand of peace to you.
Oh no, please sit down. You must remember that Umejim and Umweze, according to history, are brothers. That is why we wonder why we should kill each other because of mere piece of land. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know there's problem. But let us find a peaceful means of solving the problem. A peaceful means of settling the dispute. Johannes, that's why I'm here. I thank you very much. You have spoken very well. Thank you, Highness. I am also very, very happy to hear that we are brothers. But I want to ask you one question. Can't you Stay away from that land. <laughs> it is obviously known that that land belongs to us. I don't like shedding blood, especially the blood of my brothers. Your Highness, can't we ascertain true ownership of that land? by presenting authentic documents as approved by government so that the committee appointed to look into this matter will do its work and present its findings. Your suggestion is very, very commendable. Thank you. So we shall wait and see what comes next. But please tell your king, Igwe Omekoku, that I promise him that there will be no more bloodshed amongst us. Your Highness, may you live very long. Of the cabinet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, since we have uh, brokered peace, I guess the two towns can visit each other and do things together. Certainly. Certainly. I want you to beg. Please know that we are very serious and there will be no more bloodshed. Mm -hmm. And that I am looking forward to really whining and dining. Oh, thank, you so much, your <laughs> thank you. Thank uh, you. We should be about going, Your Highness. As you go, yes, your Highness. go peacefully. Thank you so much. And may Ahmad Yoha guard you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Highness. Let's go. Let's go. Bruce! Bruce! Yes, Your Majesty. You see, my Gucci's. Ibe. There is nothing like a broker in peace. Mm -hmm. is this good? There has been too much of killing. Yes. There has been too much of destruction. I want to thank you for this support. God will continue to bless all of you. 
Results are very, very effective. Actually. I hope for the implementation only. Yeah. from my people. Let's go, come on. in the air, and only one of them is called the king of birds, that is the eagle. Are you afraid of a lion without a tail? Are you? No, no your majesty. majesty. Are you? Never, your majesty. Good. Uh -huh. I am that ant, that even the elephants fear. Shall I stay back and watch a merciless Tyrant, butcher my people. No! I will 
defend them with the last drop of my blood. Look at that poor man. Only last night he was wiped out with his entire family. What was his crime? Nothing! Except that it belongs to Moise. And people from Owegi wiped him out. How many times does the lion leap? How many times? Once, Your Majesty. How many times? Twice. How many times? No, Your Majesty. How many? I see that you don't know. All right. I will crush that animal. I will crush him with my bare hands. So he knows the difference between both of us. I am assured by the gods that protect me that no weapon fashioned against me will work. That land belongs to us. And I know that I shall succeed in taking that land. Because the gods assure me that I will. I shall succeed. Nothing. Be mine. You mean I've been together is a dream come true? Of course, yes. God, I love you so much. Hey, you hear what she said? There is going to be more. She, my friend, you people are making noise. This is not as sweet as your, 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 when your, your wife your is high now. You, 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 you know, sir. You know, sir. You know, Yes, indeed, you can help me. So, how can we help you? That's a beautiful question. How can you help me? very very tense 
And I want you all to start things properly and enough. Pass this on to other people. Have I made myself clear? Yes, yes, yes Your Majesty. Majesty. Now you can go. Bobby. He's taking charge of outside. Good. Like I have discussed with you, don't spend any soap. Kill! I mean, slaughter them like fowls, for they have insulted us enough. Go and avenge the souls of our brothers that were killed last week. And I want to warn each and every one of you. If you don't kill more than 200 people, I mean 200 people, I will make sure I send each and every one of you to hell. Have I made myself clear? Yes. Your Majesty, your orders must be carried out. Now go. Go and avenge our brothers who were killed and who desperately seek vengeance. Now go! Stuff. Yeah, Tell me when I had that stuff for years, man. You can go out and have that. Why don't we have the food? No, I don't want to have that. I want to have it. You want to pay my bill? Don't worry. I'm sure? Let me see what it can do to my sister. Maybe. Yeah. Very real one. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, can I have a taste? Taste it. Hey, come on. <laughs> Mom, you can't give me a seat. Ah, no. I don't know why. Why are you carrying this thing? Because I'm on official duty. Can I sit down? Sorry. My seat is very small. No, <laughs> we're here for your security. No problem, Mama. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. You're thank welcome. You.
This, I mean, your, your, your attire is so beautiful, uh, just as usual. And what you must put on if you're a traditional ruler. Are you serious? Don't worry, one day, someday, when you sit here, you get used to all this. <laughs> uh, who is she? Uh, uh, the girl I told you on the phone. Her name is Abigail. Abigail Efidiora. Mm. Yeah. Abigail, this is my dad. Igwe Omekokuru one of Umwezi. It's a pleasure meeting you, Your Highness. Mm. Abigail, you just passed your first test. Thank you, sir. That's a fine choice my son made. I don't mind saying it in front of you. And uh, now I know why he's been spending sleepless nights. Uh, 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 don't start now. Don't start this. <laughs> All right, right. Please rise, my daughter. Thank you. Uh, oh, uh, Abigail yes. works in one of the um, very established media houses in the city. Uh, Abigail, where do you come from? Uh, I come from Omoeji, from the family of Ifediora. Ifediora. Are you related to Igwen Nana in any way? Of course. He's my father. I should have known that when I saw those eyes because those eyes belong to him. Your father was a very adventurous rascal when we were youngsters. Yeah. <laughs> We always hunted lizards together. 
as boys. And um, <laughs> no. he, he was a very fine footballer. He didn't develop those kids, but was a very fine footballer. <laughs> How is he? Yeah, he's doing very well, sir. Da, that yeah. was years ago. Don't tell me you've not forgotten all these your skills. Mm, no, I, I have a very fine memory. It's a long time those things happen, but you see, when you are as close to her father as I am, you don't forget such things easily. Um, I know that you must be tired at the end of a long journey. Take her inside, let her eat something. And after you have refreshed yourself, you can come back and let's talk again. Yes, Dad, uh, we really have to talk. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, my daughter. curious world, the daughter of my arch enemy, under my own roof. Tell me you're a princess. I mean, why didn't you own up me? But at least you should have told me you were a prince. Okay, I'm sorry. You see, I wanted a woman who love me not because I'm a prince, but because I'm Murphy. Now that I believe you, I love you dearly. And I'm sorry for hiding myself from you. I'm sorry too. I'm sorry for not telling you. What matters is love, not who we are. Did you last hear from your mother? Um, that was precisely a month ago. I miss her very much. She's my source of strength, gives me support. Uh, I miss her. I miss her. Come on, Dad. <laughs> I know how much you love her. And I also know you miss her. And I believe she miss you also in the States. Yeah. Besides, she's, she's going to be back soon. I know. I know, you see, it's because of the support that she lends me. I will always insist that any girl you're going to marry must be as strong as your mother. Dad, you can always count on Abigail. She's strong, beautiful, intelligent. I mean, she has everything in my mother. You trust me now. Well, ordinarily, when a young man is in love, he sees qualities in a woman that hardly exists. So it's only natural. And there is something I want to tell you which I think just might upset you a little bit. But you see, facts are facts and um, we can't ignore them. You see, by sleeping with Abigail, 
you are sleeping with an enemy, so your relationship cannot work. No, no, I, 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 I don't understand you. Um, you know that we are at war with the people of Umweji. Abigail is the daughter of the king of Umweji. Can you now understand? Me? But that, what has that got to do with our relationship? It has got everything to do with your relationship. You know, you're beginning to sound like a stranger. Can't you see the signs? To allow you, my son, an heir to my kingdom, to get married to a girl who is the daughter of my arch enemy? That is sacrilege. I will not believe that. I don't give a damn about this tradition, Dad. Look, at my age, I know what I am talking about. There are so many pretty girls, intelligent girls, brilliant girls out there. Pick any one of them, and I'll give you my blessing. Anyone but Abigail. Dad. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Yes, go on. Were well, you love my mom before you married her? Very much. I'm in love with her. Okay. I still am. Okay, you've answered my question now. Good. Dad. Yes. It's either Abigail or I'm ready to educate the throne. What? Since you're not interested in my happiness. All right. Since you insist on Abigail because she can guarantee you happiness, let it be so. Whenever you're ready for the celebration, let me know. So I can wine and dine with you. <laughs> no, that is not true. <laughs> this is not just true. <laughs> I know you understand. I know you understand. Dad. Thanks so much, Dad. All right. Your Highness, mm. it seems you are not seeing what I'm seeing. What are you seeing? Don't you realize that the so-called wife-to-be, your son brought all the way from the city, is the daughter of our enemy, Igwe mm -hmm. I know. Huh? Yes, I know. Igwe, you know? <laughs> yes, I know. You know and you allowed her pass the night in this palace? Hey! That girl is being used as a trap to us. Your son's life is not safe. It will make hair while the sun shines. Uh, I think I know what to do, except that um, there's a little problem. Problem? Mm. What's problem? My son. He may not be very easy to handle. Your son? Mm. Ah, but you are his father. And besides, you are the Igwe of this land. Every authority lands on your hands. And the lives and the properties of Umeze lies on your hands too. Every problem has a solution. You are my kid sister. Uh, yes. I and I thank you for your concern. Am I not the lion? Yes, you are the lion. Good. Anyway. You are. I am the lion. There is a solution. There is a solution. That's why. I am the liar. I got a phone call from your mother yesterday. She said she'll be arriving in Nigeria in the next two months. Really? Mm. I can't wait to see her. I miss her so much. I miss her too. Miss her terribly. That woman means the entire world to me. <laughs> Dad, don't tell me you've not lost your romantic values yet. Have I stopped looking like a human being? <laughs> I also have a heart, you know. <laughs> At this age? <laughs> yes. By the way, what about your heartthrob? Uh, sorry, uh, she left yesterday. I didn't want to disturb your nap as she was leaving. Mm, I see. She's been staying with you all this while? Of course not. We're not married yet. Yeah, that's my son. That's uh, 
why I have always trusted your judgment. Uh, but I hear she was staying pretty close to you. Mm, not really. I stay at Dariki while she stays at uh, Wuse. Um, number 4, Abdullah Sisi Street, phase 2. Mm. Number 4, Abdullah Sisi Street, phase 2. Tell me you know that place. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> you know everywhere, even Abuja, you know everywhere. You think I do. at my duty post, your highness. Play me not! You will not. Are you not afraid of the lion? You tried to rape my dearest sister last night. Yes, you did. No, your highness. That's not true. This is fallacious. What? You call my statement fallacious? You dare call my statement for you had it, didn't you? Arrest him. Move it. Bring him here. Let him be without food or water for the next seven days. That would make him responsible. No, Father. This is typically unfair. Why don't listen to him first before passing judgment? Besides, this is your best guard. I'm not saying Auntie's lying, though. Dad, I love fair try to prevail. Please.
You have spoken not just like a true son of your father, but also with his wisdom. I have heard you. You know, there are so many things that a man in authority should not do. One of them is of your mind barking from such a distance? Who are you talking about? You know who I'm talking about and don't deny it. Don't deny what? I wasn't talking to you! Huh? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Prince, what have I done? Now let me warn you. Stay clear from that girl. I know you hate her and I don't care. Don't let me start hating you. In fact, I hate you! Oh, shut up. God. She's your auntie. You know that. Until my foot. Want her to stay clear from my business. Okay. Get your hands off me. God. God. Ah. <sighs> okay. Muff, listen. We are trying to save this town. And you especially. That girl is a trap. Please listen to your father. Aren't you a trap in this house? Why are you in my father's house? 
You don't deserve to be here. Go back to your own husband's house. I said, shut up. This woman is my sister. You talk to her with some respect. Dad, she does not deserve my respect. I see. Now I know that that charm is actually working. All right? Go and look for her. I know you know where she is. And I know what you're capable of doing. I also know you are the lion. But remember, a lion can never give back to a goat. I'm equally a lion. Huh? You started this race, and I'll finish it. Son, I've tried to show you some understanding, but I'm beginning to realize that you don't deserve it. Now, don't let my wrath come down heavily on you. Don't. Um, I don't want to be hard on you, but I tell you something. Real men act. They don't just bark and bark and bark, no. Oh, yeah? They act. They so I'm barking, Dad. Oh, yeah? I'm barking. If the cap fits you, son, wear it. Go ahead, put it on. I swear to God, if not for one thing, I could have given you the biggest shock of your life. Huh? And you! Son? What did you just say? Give me your father the shock of my life? All right. I tell you what you've just done. You've just dug your own grave. Now let's see how you're lying it. Jaguar! Yes, Your Highness. Now grab this idiot. Lock him up. Torture him. Feed him once a day. Let's try to make him reasonable. Now! Yes, Your Highness. Is that all? Seize him! Is that all? I expect more of that from you. I expect more of that from you. I will not give up. I will not give up. I expect more from you. I will not give up. I will not give up. Do what I did. I will not give up. Dad, you can't stop me from getting married to my heart desire. I don't care about the problems you're having with Umo Umoize. All I care about is my happiness. Then you are a selfish girl. Your mother wasn't selfish. Oh. How I wish she was still alive. My daughter, all I want is for you to understand me. I am not preventing you from your choice of husband. But it is only to save you and this town. Remember, I am the king, the Igwe. The welfare of the people of Ubojin is my responsibility. Look, Dad, that is not the case. That is not the issue here. The issue at hand is the happiness of your daughter. Forget about this land dispute. Forget about the land. Oh, are you trying to tell me that this land problem is more important than the life of your daughter? I have tried to make you see a reason why things have to be like this. But it seems you are proving difficult. Very soon, 
our people will be going to war with the people of Umweze. And they are trying to use you against us. I have to use every other thing other than words to achieve my objectives rather than allow you be a major obstacle. Well, in that case, tomorrow morning, I will leave this place for the city. And never ever will I ever step my face into this town anymore. Good day. Abigail, are you walking out on your father just like that? Now listen to me and listen good. Starting from today, you are not to set foot out of this palace until the crisis is over. of taking care of your needs. Listen, my princess. Your life is more important to me. No! 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 Dad, I, I will not let you hold me hostage in this, in this godforsaken palace. I won't. It's not possible. You won't do it. I won't let you do it. I will let you know that I have the right since you will not stop to see this. Bruce! Bruce! Yes, Your Majesty. Starting from today, my daughter is not to step foot out of this palace. She will be under surveillance for the 24 hours of a day. This is crazy! Absolute madness! <laughs> Dad, you were supposed to be an educated man. Why do you allow yourself to be so influenced by greed and selfishness? Would you shut up your dirty mouth? And if you dare talk to me like that again, you will regret the day you me as your father. Oh, yeah? Look, Dad. I have already started regretting ever having you as a father. Bruce! What are you standing there doing? Will you take this stupid thing out of my sight? And call me Salome. Get your filthy hands off me. will regret this. My daughter has been given orders not to step foot out of this palace. And you are to attend to her needs. Whatever she wants to get out of this palace, you will go and get it for her. Your job is to stay with her always. Yes, Your Highness. You may go. Salome. Be very careful. She's very smart. Yes, you are.
Follow me. Don't worry. I'll, I'll take care of that. Okay, just go, go now. Problem? Um, Can I help you? No. Um, I want to see my brother. Your brother? Yes. So who is your brother? Raja. Oh. Raja. My sister? Yes. Hold on for a while. Okay. I get him. No problem. No, no problem. Um, Mama gave me this letter to give to you. Mama. Yes. Trouble. How is she? She's fine. Well, uh, tell her I'll see her by the riverside tomorrow. Okay. I'll tell her. Um, hi, is Papa. Papa. Papa is fine. Oh. No problem. No, okay. no problem. Okay. I'll be on my way now, right? Okay. Take care. Hurry up. Uh, before the sunset. Okay, alright, I'll wait. Take care. Bye. 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 Hey, Raja. You have some sweet sister here, man. Uh, I wouldn't mind being your in law. Thank you. But that's your problem. How can it be your problem? Yeah. Darling, our fate lies on us, but be rest assured that we shall make it in the next. <laughs> Dear Esmai, as for your plans towards the situation of things now, I have no objection. I accept it, and I wish to see you again more than ever before. And on that day, by the riverside, I shall see your face. Though it's risky, very, very risky, but it was trying. And I'm ready to take that risk just to be with you, see your face, my love, Evelyn yours. Yeah. 